All right, today we're doing something uh, uh, kind of special, I suppose. Uh, well, I'm releasing another pedal, and this pedal is called the Super Maru's Right. Can you see it? Let's try to get it real focused in so you can see what it looks like. And we have a picture of it. We'll just put the picture up. Uh, this pedal is called the Super Maru's Right. All right, now you may have heard of my Maz Wright clone called the Maru's Wright. Well, this is the Super Maru's Wright. And what's different about it is that it has three knobs and it has a master boost level on it. This is the extra knob right here. It's, it's a Maz Wright with a boost that's built in because the original Maz Wright circuits are somewhat low output. Okay, now this one can get really gnarly if you want it to. Uh, what I like to use it for, I like to use it for uh, several different things, but what I really like about this is that when you use the choke sounds, when you put the depth more towards down here, you can get those choke sounds, the, the choked type of sound, but it can, you can push the volume up. Uh, one thing about this pedal is that if you turn up all the knobs all the way, it can be pretty nasty. But you can still get the original Mazrite sounds or Mruzrite sounds out of this pedal, but you just have to adjust them, adjust the gain, the master boost kind of low. And you can get a lot of different sounds and out of, out of this pedal by adjusting your fuzz volume with this master boost, depending how, on how gnarly you want this to go. Now, the original Maruse Wright has a lot of cool sounds to it, or the original Maz Wright, uh, but this, you can just boost it easier, and it's all it's pretty much an all-in-one pedal. And uh, I'm going to sell these for $60, and uh, we'll see. I might put a deal on some, because I have one that, where the sticker doesn't look that great, but uh, we'll hear how this sounds. So here's my clean tone. I got some reverb on there. Okay, so this is with the depth kind of on more towards this way, but we'll hear what it sounds like. This is with the depth set kind of low, so it's not going to be as gnarly. The master boost is up kind of heavy. off the reverb and we're going to hear it just <laughs> sounds kind of like the mc5 okay so now let's take the depth all the way down So this pedal is, is significantly louder than the re regular Maz right. It's a lot louder. And uh, it's not even up all the way, but you can hear it. See, 
See how you can get those starved type of sounds and it still has a good volume on it? Alright, so I'm going to turn my reverb back on and we'll continue to do some like lead style playing. I'm going to put the depth in probably about the center. So I like using the Maserite right for more vintage type of sounds, like psychedelic sounds. But I think that punk people also like these like old school punk, like MC5 type of punk. And I think some of that's kind of coming back lately, but maybe not. Uh, but I like using it for the more vintage lead styles, you know. <laughs> Okay, so that's with the depth halfway up. So if we turn the depth all the way up, it's going to get pretty gnarly because my master boost is, is up pretty loud. But we're going to do that for a second, all right? <laughs> That's what it sounds like. Now, it kind of gets pretty psychedelic with a wah pedal. I didn't put any feedback resistor in this, but it's you'll, you'll hear what it sounds like. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so the the it, I have no feedback resistor in there, so we go like this. You got to deal with that a little bit, but I think it sounds kind of cool. <laughs> A lot of fuzz pedals didn't have feedback resistors back in the olden days, and so I'm kind of I'm keeping this kind of like the most vintage sound it could have. In fact, if you watch like Jimi Hendrix Isle of White, there's a part where if you have your guitar volume rolled down and you have your your wah pedal engaged, it's gonna sound like this. I'm not doing anything. But it's not really a problem if you're playing through it and your volume's all the way up. If you if you play aggressively through it, it's not gonna.
But I could see how it would be a problem if you wanted to do more subtle type of stuff with it. Let's try that right now. So I'm just going to have my volume kind of roll back and we're going to try it with the wah pedal. So it's like, whoa. So it's like when you're when when you play with your wah pedal and your heel and your foot's all the way up, it wants to do it. This is the most intense sound that we can get out of it. And let's hear what that intense sounds with no reverb in case you're, you want to do some like funky type of stuff. <laughs> Definitely gets very trashy. I like it for the vintage style stuff. I haven't even used this with a delay yet. Let's see what this sounds like with a delay. See if we can go just all out. So this is definitely a very vintage sounding circuit. It's it, it's like it's a vintage sounding circuit. I like it. I like it. So if you're going for that old school type of lead sound or you're you're kind of a punk guy, this might be a good pedal for you. Now, I still have plenty of my regular Ruse Right pedals that don't have the boost in there and people have been very happy with those. I have plenty of those still up for sale, but these Super Ruse Rights uh I'm I'm hoping that people will like these because I really am very happy with these. Uh, I like the vintage sound of them, and I've made uh, quite a few of them. So um, these are all hand built by me. I build them in this room, and uh, hopefully we'll we'll have some people that are uh, interested enough to, to try one. We're gonna try to get sixty for these. Um, they're all hand built, hand soldered, and uh, the sticker, the graphic on it is a sticker. So it's not like super professional because it doesn't make sense for me to print up decals for uh, such limited quantities. Oh, my pedal's still on. So uh, this is the Super Moves Right. And so maybe I'll play a little bit more around with it. Um, yes. So here's the depth at about three quarters. Master boost is about three quarters. Volume on the fuzz is all the way up. That sounds 
sounds cool. It sounds like an Octavia almost. <laughs> Sounds like an Octavia, I love it. Psychedelic. I love the psychedelic. Full disclosure, I'm using artificial pinch harmonics, so I don't want you to think that it's just doing that by itself. But that's when you do artificial p pinch harmonic, you just kind of hit the, this note like with the fret. That's kind of this is not a guitar lesson, so I should. like this pedal for those types of sounds now um i think for the full out shreddy type of sounds i want a more of a creamier sound which would be more like a, just your regular fuzz face um i noticed that if you jack up the volumes and all the knobs on this it tends to sound better if you're if you want to do that it sounds better if you use a smaller amp that that's already breaking up because it does add like a lot of high end like harshness to it but like a small amp sometimes that can sound good with a small amp but with a bigger amp i it can be a little bit too much sometimes but uh, make up your own mind um you know i'm sure some people probably like it like that but for me i if i was going to jack everything up I, I would i would like to use it with a small amp and this will definitely make your small amp sound louder if uh you know, as long as you have some headroom left. All right, so this is the Super Maroos, right? And uh, I'm hope hoping that uh, you find this video uh, informative. Oh, and don't forget, these pedals are for sale at Reverb. I'm selling strictly on Reverb.com right now, so uh, that's where you get the pedals. I'm thinking 60 on these. All right, we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.